patriots, welcome back to Mason Cable News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Reagan Ortiz. And I'm Martin Trompetta. Graduation season is upon us. The University of Life, Science and Technology will be hosting a barbecue for graduate students at George Mason University. The barbecue will be held at Beacon Hall on the Science and Technology campus on Friday, April 26th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Patriots, Mason Day is almost here. The Patriot Activities Council and Student Involvement will be hosting Mason Day on Friday, April 26th. Come to Lot L from 3 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. to enjoy rides, giveaways, and free food. Also, don't miss out on musical performances from Mason's very own and artists like Queen Nyjah and Sage the Gemini. Coffee, anyone? Get together with your friends and enjoy some coffee with First Gen Mason's Coffee Shop on Monday, April 29th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the JC Bistro. Stay tuned after the commercial break. We'll be back with more of Mason Cable News. For now, we're throwing it over to Jack Dunn for the weather. Hi Mason, this is Jack Dunn with the weather. Tomorrow looks like yet another rainy Friday with the chance of thunderstorms, which is disappointing for Mason Day. Saturday looks nice with a high of 65. We may get a sprinkle Sunday morning, but it will clear out in the afternoon and highs will be around 73 or so. Monday will be similar to Saturday's weather. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday will see some clouds, but Tuesday will be warmer with highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday will be near 70, and Thursday will be near 75. Hope everyone has a good week. Back to you. The Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, Hispanic Student Association, Mason Dreamers, Aguila's Mentoring Program, Mary Post's Mentoring Program, and more will be hosting an end of the year Familia Barbecue. The barbecue will be held in front of Hanover Hall from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday, May 3rd. Come say farewell to the graduating seniors this semester. Do you like acapella? The Patriot Pitches will be hosting a night of acapella music showcase on Sunday, May 5th from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. in the Johnson Center Bistro. Come enjoy this free show with great solo and group performances. Refreshments will be served. Earlier today, former Vice President Joe Biden officially announced that he is running for president in 2020. Biden joins the nearly 20 Democratic presidential hopefuls for the 2020 race with candidates like Senator Cory Booker, Senator Bernie Sanders, and more. In Biden's announcement video, the former VP is working to highlight this nation's core values like hope, and dignity. Martin, what do you think of this lineup for the Democratic Party and do you hope to see some of those uh, candidates come to Mason? Well, um, most definitely I think there's a lot of very experienced Democrats that are going to be running for next year's 2020 government election um, and I'm really excited to hear more about them and I do hope that they do come to Mason. Mm -hmm. Regan, what do you think about the lineup? Um, I was especially excited to see that Biden was finally announcing. I know that um, there was some doubt coming off of like the family health issues, so I'm excited to see him coming back, and I'm I'm really hopeful that he'll be able to um, get through this campaign without yeah. any like hardships or anything like that, and so. definitely um, pull one out for the Democratic Party. Thank you, Patriots, for tuning in with us this evening. Keep up to date with news on and off campus if you follow us on Instagram at MCN on TV, on Twitter and Facebook at Mason Cable News, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mason Cable Network. My name is Reagan Ortiz. And I'm Martin Trompetto. We'll see you back next week. Have a great day.